Boom! What's going on, everyone? I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and I'm opening the warehouse doors on another episode of Toy Talk. DCP by First Gear. They keep releasing the Diecast Promotions toolings, only this time they're making lots of plain blank trucks, which makes it so easy to customize or graphic up with company liveries. Do any of you ever customize your model trucks? Or do you like them just the way they come? Let me know in the comments below. And it really means a lot for me for you to go on and subscribe to my channel and become a part of my YouTube family. The Kenworth T680 is bold, intelligent, productive, and rewarding due to technology-driven and industry-leading aerodynamics. Powering the Kenworth T680 is the 12.9 liter Packard MX-13 engine with up to 500 horsepower to move the large payloads with ease even on steep grades. It is mated to a 10-speed automated manual transmission to reduce driver fatigue. The T680's interior is equal to fine luxury automobiles, space, elegant design and fine craftsmanship define the interior. The T680 is offered as a day cab or a sleeper cab with multiple sleeper options. Like the 40 inch flat top sleeper where length and tear weight are at a premium. To the 52 inch mid roof sleeper for short layover schedules. To the 76 inch mid roof sleeper for lower profile applications that still need two bunks, all the way up to the 76 inch high roof sleeper for the ultimate in space to work or to relax and that is all to heighten the driving experience. As the brochure says, an investment in the Kenworth T680 pays off in greater fuel economy, driver retention, productivity, and excellent resale value. You also gain the pure pleasure of putting your name on the door of a truck that commands respect wherever it goes. Whether you purchase or lease, in the long run, you will be glad that you own the world's best. Let your drive begin. And here it is, guys. This is the Kenworth T680 with Wabash 53-foot dry van trailer that is totally blank. It's made by DCP by First Gear. <laughs> These blanks are great. They give us plenty of room to go customizing our trucks. It, as you can see, it comes in the standard DCP by First Gear box. And it has the two-piece blister, which I've already cut the tape so we don't have to worry about it, but they do come taped. On this one, it is item number 60-0878, white Kenworth T680 with white uh, Wabash 53-foot Duraplate dry goods trailer. And that trailer also has the skirts on it. Now let's go on and open him up. And as I said, I've already cut that tape, so you don't have to worry about that today. Take the trailer out, set him here, and then get the cab out so I can get this blister out of the way. Now also, inside the blister, you will see up here, it has an extra set of mirrors. They're black arms with white backs and then mirrors on the front. That way you have that extra set of driver's mirrors and passenger's door mirrors so you're all right on these trucks in case you break one, which is possible. Let's set the truck aside and start off with the trailer. This is their 53-foot Wabash Duraplate trailer. And you can see it's got the outside ribs on it. And it's got that extra piece down here, which adds tons of strength to it. It rides on polished uh, chrome 10 hole rear wheels with soft rubber tires and a nice modern day tread pattern. It's got the side skirts here, which are actually die cast metal on this. They're not plastic. This trailer features the standard screw down landing gear, just like all the other uh, die cast promotions toolings have. You can also see the extra marker light there, DOT striping, the Wabash logo, and the upper clearance lights on these trailers. Turning underneath, 
you'll see it has the uh, tandems in the slid forward position, which is pretty much where you see most 53 foot trailer rear axles. The tandem axles have their brake canisters and the axle detail plus a modest sort of uh, suspension look. It's just a simple two piece that's added on and screwed onto the trailer. Also, it's got the uh, black rubber mud flaps and they're actually just a uh, hard ABS plastic. The landing gear screws down and it's got the kingpin for your standard DCP fifth wheels. Die cast promotions made in China is cast into the bottom of the trailer and also a data manufacturer is actually tampoed right there behind the kingpin. 181st day of 2020 on this trailer. And these guys just came out. Turning around to the back, you can see it's got the Wabash Duraplate tampo on the door. It's got the hinges are at, tampoed in silver. So are the cam locks. It's got the dual round uh, brake lights and they are tampoed in red. DOT striping on the bumper and on the doors. And it's got the Wabash style rear bumper with those two pieces that hang down. And these doors do open. And one of these days, I'll actually learn to just have a tool here to go on and open these doors. There we go. And the Wabash doors fold over the drivers over the passengers. And the utilities, it's the passenger over the drivers. I don't know why they did that, but that's what they did. Inside, you can see the Dura plate down the side. You can see the wood floor and then the white sides. The roof inside is also just plain silver. And there's the roof clearance lights that are tampoed in red. Around to the passenger side, and you see the same uh, details that were on the driver's side. It's also got that little tampo down there on the skirt right there. That does look more like a scratch, but it's actually the... Uh, Wabash uh, Tampo for their uh, arrow kit for those skirts. The roof on this guy is painted all in silver. Round to the front, and we can see nice rivet detail. You can see the place where the air lines and the brake lines uh, would hook up, being this, and that's tampoed over in silver. You can see the silver outline, the Wabash Tampo up there, rivets, and being this is thinner paint, that's very well defined. Now, let's go on and set this uh, trailer aside and talk about the tractor. And to do that, I'll screw the landing gear down. A note about that kingpin, it's just like all the rest of their, their utility drive in. This trailer actually has a cut in where the fifth wheel sits up inside it. Not really prototypical, but that's the way they did it for their suspension and the fifth wheel mounting. Now let's set the trailer down and pick up the tractor. And here we go, guys. This is their new Kenworth T680 Diecast Promotions tooling. It is an all white so that it would be very easy to customize, just like the trailer. Rides on 10-hole chrome wheels front and rear with duals, not super singles. It's got chrome quarter fenders, chrome ladder, and chrome fuel tanks. The steps over here are also chrome. You can see the fuel filler cap is outlined in black. The door handle is outlined in black, and it's tampoed over in silver. The reflector and the marker lights are all tampoed in yellow. And the grill is chrome with the trim with a black paint on it. And it's got the Kenworth Tampo there that says it's a Kenworth, just like the real ones. Also, the Tampo on the bottom of the door that says T680 is there. It's got the upper window and the lower window. And this is the full 76-inch high roof sleeper that they have. So this is the big guy. You can see the rear fairings, toolbox door with handle that's in silver with black outlines. The windows are all real dark tinted because there's no detail inside the sleeper but that's okay you can't really see through those windows anyway the side passenger and driver's door windows are rolled down and the front is a hard plastic along with those side windows 
the hood on this guy does open and it reveals the Packard engine which is standard in all Kenworths. It's a really nice, well-detailed engine. Under the hood, you can see the piping for the turbo and the air charge and the radiator. Very nice detail underneath. Round to the front, you can still see with the hood up, and then we'll close it. On the very front, you can see it's got the Kenworth logo on top of that beautiful, beautiful chrome grill. Inside the cab, it's got two seats and dashboard, which are in gray, and the steering wheel is in black. Step holds here are tampoed in black. The headlights are individual jewel style headlights with the little reflectors painted in orange. Up above the window, there is no visor on this one, but there is the roof clearance lights that are required, the five lights that are right there. And the windshield wipers are just tampoed onto the windshield. Also, they did a real nice uh, black trim ring around to look like it has the gasket. The wind mirrors are white mirror caps with black arms on this guy. Round to the passenger side, it's got all the same details as the driver's side, only they added on that little mirror so that you can see what's right beside you above the window. A very nice feature on these trucks. Really helps the driver out quite a lot. Going around to the back, you'll see it's got the fifth wheel that pivots, just like the, all the rest of them. Chrome deck plate, chrome ladder on both sides, chrome quarter fenders. The rear mud flaps are painted black with chrome arm brackets that hang down. DOT striping, backup lights, and brake lights. Up onto the cab, you'll see it's got a pogo stick that has a hole right there to be put in and you can see it's got work lights and a and a grab bar right there and you can see the backup lights there's also a grab bar on each side behind where these uh, skirts plug into the, the sleeper and then this pogo stick just fits in that hole in the deck plate just like that in all it's a great looking truck now let's look underneath. Oh, wow. Of course, you didn't see any exhaust stacks, so it obviously had an underbody exhaust. It's got the tailpipe coming off the bottom of the engine, which is painted gray. The transmission is painted in silver. The battery box is here, and the air tanks are there. There's the def tank and the other tank fuel tanks. Those are chrome. You see the tailpipe goes into the fancy mufflers, and then there is the tailpipe blowing down. The rear axles have uh, air brake canisters on them, drive shafts connecting them all the way up to the transmission, rear differentials, and rear suspension. Also, the steering on this guy is positionable, maybe. Yep, there we go. You can hear it click. It clicks in place. It's not true steering. It's just positionable. They did a really nice job making us a truck that we can customize. And I've already seen, I've already had a, a, a possible job for this. And we'll see how it comes out. If you guys have any ideas what you would put on this truck, just let me know down in the comments below. And let's go on and hitch it up so you can see what it looks like all hooked up. And to do that, i got to close up the back doors and put up the landing gear, which is easy to do. Just screw the landing gear right up. No problems. This landing gear design that DCP came out with back when it was die-cast promotions was really nice. It gives a screw-down landing gear, which looks like a real one when it's sitting on the ground, or it screws right up so it looks like you could haul it. No no problem either way, and, well, we like to set some trailers aside, but most of the time we have them hooked up, so that's the way we want to do it. Boom. Isn't that sharp, guys? <laughs> that's the Kenworth T680 with Wabash 53-foot dry van for whoever you want to put on the trailer. It is a blank white cab and blank white trailer. It just has company markings of 
who made the trailer and the tractor. Pretty cool. What would you guys do with this blank truck? I'm sure there are plenty of companies out there that we could put on this truck. After all, blank white trucks are taking over the fleet truck operations out there. Go on and shop for Diecast Promotions trucks at the link in the description below at farmtoysandmore.com. Also, please go on and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. I really appreciate each and every one of my subscribers and it really means so much to me. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and I'm closing up the doors on another episode of Toy Talk.